So, Simon and Garfunkel, Ernie and Bert, even Mario and Luigi, these are all examples of iconic pairs that we all know and love. But even though those are couples that work well together, there's uh, still some pairs that either shouldn't be together or just aren't meant to be. And to me, one of those pairs is money and healthcare. When you look at money and healthcare, every facet of the healthcare sector has some form of compensation required for it. Luckily in Canada, we have it where most of it is covered by our universal healthcare plan. This covers the majority of our costs and even leads to the idea that people think healthcare in Canada is free. If you go on Google and you type healthcare in Canada, the first autofill result is healthcare in Canada free. I think that's a really great question actually, and I'd love to put a bit more input on what I think of that. So although a majority of healthcare costs in Canada are covered under our universal healthcare plan, there are still costs that patients do have to pay at their own expense, otherwise known as out-of-pocket costs. These costs could range from housing to nutrition to transportation, missing hours of work, even needing to get a babysitter. And when I consider you know, certain populations that may be more susceptible to getting these costs, I think of people in the emergency department. I'd like everyone to close their eyes for a second and imagine you're in the emergency department. Typically, you visit there when you have no other option and it's usually unplanned. You have no control over the situation and you don't really have anywhere else to turn. Now open your eyes and imagine if on top of all those stressors that you already have, you also need to think about how you're gonna pay for a visit that you could decide whether you wanted to go to. So my research focused on identifying what the out-of-pocket costs are for emergency department visitors in Newfoundland and Labrador. Over a two year period, we interviewed 754 patients and asked them on the types and levels of costs that they incurred. We wanted to do this because the field of out-of-pocket cost is relatively sparse in terms of non-disease specific visits to the emergency department. If you have a specific disease, yes, there is some discussion, but if you're just visiting, there's not really much of a discussion on it. So overall, our findings found that there is a cost, uh, $329.27 as an average cost to visit the emergency department, uh, which is equivalent to two and a half days of work based on the average salary of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians. We also found that the mean missed hours of work was 17 hours. Patients missed 17 hours of work waiting for the emergency department. We found that over a quarter of patients had incurred costs at the emergency department, and that those who waited four plus hours and those that visited an urban hospital as opposed to a rural hospital were twice as likely to incur cost. As one of the first studies in this field, we find it extremely important to hopefully guide future policy direction. Thank you very much.